uh, today is Monday uh, the 24th. Getting ready to leave the house and uh, head to the port of Houston. Right off of 610. Pick up this oversized load. It's supposed to be 11, three wide, uh, 35 feet long and four feet high. Somewhere around 18,000 pounds, probably less. And uh, take it up to Oklahoma. Drop off tomorrow, so here we go. All right, we're here in uh, Port of Houston. I only been here once in my life. Can't remember exactly where to go, but I do remember last time I was here, man. I was here for some hours just checking in. It's a long line. We're standing outside in the rain, and you had to stand outside in the line. You couldn't, you know, sit in the truck. You had to park your truck, walk over to the trailer, and the trailer was outside. So, I mean, of course the trailer outside, but you know what I'm saying. There was no roof or awning or anything like that. It was taken from the elements, so. Yep, that's my memory of this place. I can't remember what I picked up. I know it was me and three other landslide drivers. Oh, no, nah, we picked up a container. So I was here for hours just checking in. And then we was also here for even more hours after I checked in because they couldn't find the container. And it turned out the container was sitting right next to my truck the whole time. I mean, they searched around the entire port for this damn container. But uh, yeah. Hopefully we get in and out smooth today. took us uh, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Probably longer than that. Finally got it done. It was my fault, the reason I was uh, slow getting checked in this time, because I went to the CPA office first, and I was supposed to go to the truck office first, and then go to the CPA office. Passing up under 16 right now. Getting loaded out here, so I'm uh, about to call come data and order my permits. When this uh, when this low is 11.3, when I'm dealing with lows like this size, I like to kind of wait till I see the piece first and then order the uh, permits, especially since we're going to Oklahoma. So. So we loaded up 11.3 wide. First load I've ever had that uh, stretched under the deck. Well, below the deck, I should say. And we got that one box up top. This only weighs 8,000 pounds. Pretty light load. That box up there only weighs 200 pounds. About to hit the road, Jack. Yo, what's good? What's happening? Uh, today is mm, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Out here at the, uh, I'm in Texas, but I'm at the Texas Oklahoma state line. I've been here pretty much all day. I loaded this oversized load yesterday in Houston, 
And the reason I'm sitting at the state line because I don't have my Oklahoma permits right now. Turns out, Oklahoma, I'm delivering to uh, a town called Anadarko, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma State wants, they need the uh, approval from Anadarko before they send me permits. They need, you know, Anadarko to approve me going into the city with this load before they will send me a permit uh, into Oklahoma. So that's why I'm sitting at state line. I've been waiting on this Oklahoma permit since yesterday. Uh, we've been trying to get in touch with Anadarko, uh, chief of police. Haven't gotten an answer until about 15 minutes ago. So now that we got the okay, just waiting on the permits to hit my email so I can print them off and hit the road. It's uh two thirty right now. Uh, I should be able to make it to um, close. I should be able to get close to Anadarko before sunset. So hopefully everything go good with that, man. This this first time this ever happened. I've never had a state hold off on sending a permit. You know until a city approved the permit. I've never had that happen, so it's the first time. And it's also a learning lesson for me because now I know that anytime I'm delivering to some off the wall city in Oklahoma or a town, I know there's gonna be this situation again. Uh, I don't think I've ever delivered Oklahoma, uh, an oversized load over here in Oklahoma. I've been through Oklahoma with oversized load, but I've never been to Oklahoma. So, yeah, learning experience for me. But, yep, this is where we at right now. I'm at the Love's. Uh, I can't remember what exit this is. But I'm at the last Love on I-35 going north before you hit the, uh, before you hit Oklahoma. So, yep. So we made it out here in Anadarko at the receiver. Today is Wednesday, so I didn't get to leave yesterday. Like I thought I was. Uh, I was told by my permit service that, you know, my permits was on the way yesterday and still ran into some issues. So I got my permits this morning around nine o'clock. And uh, I was able to cross into Oklahoma. And it's just been, you know, smooth sailing. No problems. Like I said, we out here, out here at the receiver. I got here at one o'clock, so I doubt I'll be finding any other loads today. Uh, look like one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six trucks ahead of me over here. Like they delivering crane parts. And I'm just waiting on somebody to come pull me to the back. Like I don't know if I'm going in front of them or behind them. Who knows? This load was supposed to deliver yesterday morning, so <clears throat> who knows how the rest of the day gonna go. I called another agent and let him know because I seen he had a load picking up at 4.30 today, uh, about 20 miles from here going back down to Houston. And uh, I called him and let him know my situation. You know, I'm gonna be in the area, but I can't guarantee I'd be anywhere right now. So, you know, if you don't have anyone to book that load and I'll let you know when I'm empty here and you know, maybe I can still grab it for you running on down to Houston, but Right now nobody knows anything. So I'm not gonna book a load until I can uh, guarantee I'm gonna be there But yep, that's what we got going on right now. So hit you back later All right, so we're leaving the receiver still not unloaded as you can see but uh they're gonna unload me in the morning i just dropped my trailer since i'm not permitted to go you know backwards I think the closest truck stop was like 20 miles 
so uh, I'ma just go find some water park and we'll be back up here in the morning but yeah this is this load was real sucky man it was real sucky this load wasn't even paying that good to be this sucky but it is what it is it's a lesson learned so we won't make these mistakes again hopefully you won't Right, heading back to the uh, receiver. So it's Thursday morning. Hopefully when I get that man, they ready to rock and roll. Sure, I can still book a load going somewhere and uh, make some money for the, try to make some money for the week. These past three weeks, I only been pulling one load a week. The first week, um, I only did one load because the starter went out on the Monday. Uh, the second week. Uh, I couldn't really find anything leaving Houston until Wednesday. And then this week, you know, I picked this load up Monday and here it is Thursday and I'm still on it. It was only like a 460 mile trip. It's shit horrible, man. But hopefully next week we can break this cycle and get the hell up out of Texas. So we made it back to the receiver. I'm just putting these pins back in before I forget them. <laughs> 